gang. It's your boy Foosh. Foosh nigga, you know what I mean? Um, fresh off of work. You know what I mean? I got my work shit on. Um, size hat, this all me. You know what I'm saying? Motivate. Um, gotta got I gotta got I gotta fuck bro. I'm straight off work. You already know I'm straight off work. I'm not editing that out either. Um gotta get you guys some content, you feel me? Just put in 14 hours, but it's still a little bit uh daylight out. It's like 8 30. Um get you guys some content. Um I had a subscriber ask me about the sport mode and does it really work? Do I think is there a difference? Uh when the sport mode is on and when it when it's not. So we're gonna take a little drive and I'm gonna explain just have a little combo with you guys. We're gonna do a drive with the sport mode off, with the sport mode on, and give you my take on the sport mode. There's definitely a difference. <laughs> I know that for a fact because I only drive my car in sport mode. So that should tell you something right there. So um we're gonna get out of here, go do a quick little little drive and uh let me talk to you guys for a minute. So I'll see you guys when I'm heading to the car. Boo. Alright man. There she go right there. You know what I mean, black excellence. You know what I mean, if you're not subscribed, go make sure you subscribe to Car re Car Reviews with Foosh. You feel me? Car Reviews with Foosh. Yo, man, let's start this thing up. Where the fuck is my keys at, man? You know what I mean? It's not a cold start, but it's a start. about to die. Shit, we gotta make this quick. Oh, shit. Uh, turn that off. Alright. Goddamn battery about to die. Let's see. Let's make this quick. No goddamn light, my nigga. Alright, goddamn. There we go, a little bit. Alright. I'm going to tell you guys how I, how I ended up with this car, actually. So I had a, uh, a BMW 2004 7045 Li. Put a lot of money into that car. Um, had a lot of issues with the car. It was becoming uh, more problems than what it was worth. I was putting more into the car than what the car was worth. And after about 10000 in, I had enough. Um, so I, I went to the dealership just I had to be to work on Monday my Cadillac converter had went out in my BMW So, you know what I mean? Like it was gonna cost me 2500 so there was not no way I was paying that amount of money So spur of the moment I had to be to work at 5 o'clock in the morning on Monday It was Sunday at like uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I had to go find a car So I went to the dealership and I just happened to come across a, a Chrysler 300 you know what I mean? I always like the, the the new body styles and shit like that. As far as like, not the 2008s and 7s, like the second generation. And so uh, what happened is I ended up getting the 2014, and uh, and I really liked it. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get it honestly because my credit was shot at that point. Um, but I ended up getting it. I, I liked it until I saw the 2015 and ups with the uh, with the grill in the middle of the with the Chrysler emblem in the middle of the grill. And the tailpipes were different. The lights were different in the rear. And this this gauge right here, this is different. I like this 10 times better than the ones on the 2014s and 2011 and stuff like that. Man, I like this big ass display that shows everything. Um, the other ones don't come with that. So, and plus it was the, it was the basic fucking model, which I didn't know. Um, you know, it had 295 horsepower, I believe, but it was just fucking basic, bro. And after seeing these ones, I instantly knew I had to, I had to have it. So what happened was, I think I had that that base model 300 for like um, five months. Five months later, I went down to Tacoma Dodge, Tacoma Chrysler Dodge on South Tacoma Way, and I traded it in for this for this car. After I drove this car and I drove it with the sport mode. 
it was a wrap. I had to sign the paperwork. Of course, my battery died. I'm glad I didn't leave the house. <laughs> Check this out, though, man. Look at that tuckage. Look at that tuckage. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna do the front. I wasn't sure, but I'm definitely gonna get the front done. That is a must. I'm definitely gonna have to make that appointment to get that front done. I can't do that no more. It was cool at first, you know what I mean? I wasn't tripping, it wasn't too bad, but after seeing that back, the um, front has to get done. So I have to make an appointment to get that front lower with the other two springs. Um, but like I said, my uh, battery died. Luckily I didn't leave the house yet, so I was able to go change that real quick. But um, I think the last thing I said, how, how I ended up with this Chrysler 300, the S model. Um, I haven't looked back since. A lot of people sleep on these Chrysler 300s, man. I have a lot of people, especially the way my car looks now, pull up next to me and think my car is a sleeper. They think it's just for looks. This sport mode, but I didn't I didn't smash them. But come on. Don't pull up into me like this is a grandpa car, my guy. And just a hooked up grandpa car, because it's not. That this motherfucker gets up and I think they learned that lesson, man. A lot of people sleep on these cars. No, they're not 400, 500, 600, 700 horsepower, but 300 horsepower with the sport mode, with um muffler deletes, with um um what the fuck am i looking for what's the um ex uh what the fuck exhaust what the fuck am i i can't even that's how you see the niggas you see me sweating um performance muffler god mm, with perform, performance muffler i'm gonna cut the goddamn video right now they can't even talk slow down nigga god damn with performance mufflers on there it adds horsepower to it, it opens it up, and a lot of people, they sleep on it, and they end up finding out in the end, don't sleep out on these 300 uh, S's, you know, the, the, the basic models, maybe, and that one still kind of got up, but it is a difference, I'm trying to tell you, so we're going to take a ride, and um, we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you guys what I think the difference is, in my opinion, my opinion, what I think the sport mode difference is of having it on and off. Or and having the double mode on because there is uh, two sport sport mode buttons on the shifter and a button right over there by the AC and whatnot. So um, let's take a ride, man, and uh, let's see if we can tell. I'm not gonna put it on sport. I'm not, this this is in regular mode right here. I'm gonna roll the windows all the way down. Man. Got me sweating like a slave in it. Get this content for you guys and uh respond back to some of the comments as far as the video um that people want to see and have questions about the chrysler 300 and stuff like that look at that you see that <laughs> that's the other car that's the uh, cadillac ats um turbo twin turbo come on man open bro come on open the gate don't close on me my nigga so I'm trying to figure out if I want to take it on the freeway because I want to see, I want you guys to get like a good idea of what I'm talking about for the people that don't know if the sport mode works, how to use it, if there's a difference. Um, Cause in my, in my opinion, and I'm ha I've had cars with the sport mode button in there and did not feel one ounce of difference at all. And it, it honestly pissed me off, you know what I mean? But this, this car, when you put it in sport mode, there's a there's a difference, and and I'm gonna tell you what I think the difference is. Um, uh, the when you turn the sport mode button on, when not, this is not not even on the shifter. This is just the button out of, right there. This button right there. Um, if you just turn, if you just push that button, um, to me the RPMs kick up higher, and the um, and it holds the gears a little bit longer. You know what I mean? Especially with having this exhaust, that note holds a little bit longer than, than when I'm driving in regular mode. I'm gonna see if I could, I'm gonna hit this corner and see if you guys can hear it. There's a difference, let's see. Hell no. Nah. You hear that? That was, that was garbage. And, and you can hear the exhaust is not that loud, but it gets louder when you turn the sport mode on. I 
I really wish you could play music and there was no such thing as copyright. You know what I mean? Honestly, because I, I feel like if people play their music at, on, their, on their YouTube videos and people are asking, hey, bro, what's, what song is that? You know what I mean? That's going to get uh, that's going to get the um, the artist, a, uh, somebody that didn't know that song was out or maybe never heard of them, and uh, a new download. Ain't that, ain't that money? You go on Apple and download a song if you get money for that? I don't know. I think it's stupid. Sometimes I be wanting to bang out in my, in, in my songs and just on, on while I'm recording, man. You know how it is when you turn your song on and drive, and it's, it's a different experience and then have to turn everything off while you're recording the video because... You don't want to um, get a copyright strike on your channel or whatnot. I think I think it's dumb, but you know I, I know that um, that YouTube has been some, through some things in the beginning where um, they got sued by people, and that was that's what changed the whole algorithm of uh, being able to play music in your videos and stuff like that because it's not your music. So I, I get it. YouTube has to do what they have to do, but I still think it's stupid. I think artists should really look into that. Uh, I think they'll make more money in the end instead of just keeping it and only can get it on their channels on YouTube or whatnot, or unless you know them. But anyway, man, the car has get up without the sport mode. As you can see, when you, right here, when you turn the sport mode on, at least the button, only with the button, the flag will pop up. You know what I mean? But there's a difference, man. There's there's get up, but you can. Well, hold on, you guys, you guys. I hope you guys can hear this now. Let me see. That ain't it, Chief. And there, I cannot drive in regular mode anymore. Ever since I bought this car, 90% of the time I drive in, in sport mode. Even though sport mode, you use more gas, I don't care. It's still not worse than a, than a, than a V8. You know what I mean? So I still think it was worth not getting the V8 to get the V6. You know what I mean? Because when I do jump up to a V8, um, God willing, it's going to be like a... It's gonna be a Hellcat or you know what I'm saying, something like that where I'm gonna go crazy. You feel me? I really wish I could find a tunnel to go under, man. I need that. I need that tunnel action. There's not too many tunnels out here in Tacoma. You gotta go to Seattle for all of that. You know what I mean? I cannot drive in. I cannot drive in it, bro. I gotta turn sport mode on. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna turn it on just right here. And as you can see, that flag popped up. You know what I mean? And it, I don't. You you can see it, but the RPMs kicked up. As soon as I turned that button, the RPMs kicked up. You hear that? There's a difference. That shit is a total difference, my guy. Total goddamn there. I I cannot drive. Not in sport mode. It's boring not to drive in sport mode. Any other mode is boring. But I'm gonna get. I'm gonna jump on the freeway. And um. See if you guys can hear when it really hits jump on the freeway because I can give it a little bit more juice than the regular regular streets. Look at this shit. I'm ah, damn nigga it's dark, but god damn ain't no light. This I'm losing the sun. I'm trying to make this video real quick for you guys, man. You can hear that exhaust kick up a little bit more easier. Like as soon as I press on the gas, you can hear when I have it in regular, regular mode, I really have to press down on the gas pedal for you guys to hear that uh um, that the exhaust in sport mode, you hear that crackling in the um, exhaust and everything. I love that crackling, especially when it start downshifting. You hear that crackling. Come on, man, I'm losing light, bro. Let me get on the freeway. Let me get on the freeway. These guys are driving slow, man. Come on, they're a Mustang right in front of you. Man, you hear that exhaust? It does not. It does not do that when it's in regular mode. It's because when we put the sport mode in, the, the RPMs kick up, kick up a little bit higher. So you get a little, you get that higher note in the exhaust. I love it, like, you know what I mean? 
It's not a V8. It it does not sound like a Hellcat. It does not sound like a um, 392. It doesn't sound like none of that. But it definitely does not sound like a V6 either. I, that much I do know. So whatever note this is, I like it for for being a V6. You know what I mean? Uh, we about to hit the freeway with this Mustang in front of us. Oh, I got two Mustangs in front of us. Oh, damn. Come on, man. I need to get up. I wish I could find a better tunnel to go up under. Right, we got police pulling people over. And we don't want none of that action, Jackson. Come on, man. Try and make like a a, a a quick five minute video, but I don't think this is gonna be a quick five minutes. Uh, I jumped on the freeway. I didn't plan to do that, but I think that's the that's the only way you're gonna be able to really tell. And then I'm gonna turn the sport mode off, and I'm gonna see if I can see the RPMs kick down where they're not as high. Oh, man, look at this. I got this slow person in front of me, man. Look at all that light outside, though. It don't look like that inside the car. get a little tunnel action. I think we'll get a little bit better tunnel action. Let me see if I'm gonna turn this sport mode off and see if the, the shit kick down. Oh hell yeah. You see that? Let's see if it kicks up. You see that? I hit that sport mode and it kicked up. There is a difference. I'm telling you there's a difference. I know you guys saw that. I hit the button and the RPMs dropped. I hit the shit back on and the RPMs kick right back up really hard. Let's go, baby. I'm telling you, man, for only being a V6, man, come on, man. I love this car. What are you doing, my guy? Let's see, we'll try to jump right back on the freeway head home in this video yeah get right back on this joint 
It's a decree. Yep. You know what I mean? Get a little, uh, get a little tunnel action for you guys. Um, a little bit longer, I think it's gonna be, but. All right, for everybody that's wondering, if you watch this video, there is a difference in the sport mode. This car, Chrysler 300, I don't know for any other car, but this car sport mode button works. That is a fact. I showed you the RPMs kicking down and up. It works. It definitely does something. All right, we're gonna hit this tunnel. We're gonna hit this tunnel, get you guys some little longer um, tunnel action. Sport mode, man. It's the only thing I drive my car in. I, it, once you go sport mode, you can't you can't drive it in regular mode. There's just no way. The speed limit is 45 miles per hour. Come on, man. Michael Knight talking to me. You know what I mean? Michael Knight got a little something wrong with his his uh, uh his voice box, so he sound like a girl. You know what I mean? Well, I got to fix that voice box. You feel me? But well, we ain't tripping. As long as she let me know what the deal is. You know what I mean? We're gonna hit this tunnel and see what it sound like, man. Look at that Chrysler 300. Nope, that ain't it, my guy. You're, you're, it's smooth, though. I like it. Come on, man. I gotta hit this tunnel, my guy. You gotta get out the way. Let's go. Want it. Here we got another one. Let's go. Man, you sleep on these Chrysler 300 all you want. Sleep on this Chrysler 300, my guy. You gonna get burnt. I'm trying to tell you. That performance exhaust in sport mode, <laughs> done it. That's all you need, man. I'm thinking about putting the cold air intake. Man, come on. For the price, it's worth it. I'm trying to tell you. Speed limit is 60 miles per hour. Come on, man. I'm doing 60. I'm doing 60. Stop lying to the people. We got the green light. No snack crackle. Alright. Alright, man. We're gonna end this video, man. I'm almost home. Um, so in my opinion, not even man, it's a fact. It's not even an opinion. Sport mode works. Um, that's how I use it. I use it because the RPMs kick up, it holds um with the uh performance exhaust, it holds the notes longer. You know what I mean? And in regular mode, it switches gears so fast, you don't get to hold that note to hear the exhaust. 
You feel me? So I only drive in sport mode. And it, it, I use more gas, but so what? I'm not using gas like I'm in a V8. I don't, I don't care about it, man. And it still cost me like $45 to fill it up. I'm not paying $60, $70, $80 to fill up this car. So in the end, it's worth it for me to drive the way I like to drive. Luxury sport. I like drive. That's how I like driving. I like sporty driving. I like the stiffness of my spe uh, steering wheel. I changed the, um, the settings on the Uconnect uh, for the sport steering. It's the only thing I drive. Driving in sport steering and sport mode. Um, it's the only way to drive these cars, man. When you got when you got an S, you, you all, if you're not driving in sport mode, I don't know what you're doing with the S anyway. You may as well have the base model. You feel that's my opinion. Um, but uh, run it up in the comments, man. Let me know if you drive your car in sport mode all the time. Let me know if you got an S, a regular. If you're trying to upgrade, what you're trying to get. Let me know if you, in this video, if you could tell the difference between regular mode and sport mode. If you saw the RPMs kick down when I pushed the button. Um, the one thing I didn't, when I, when I put it in double sport mode, when I put the shifter in sport and push the button, I really, I can't really tell a difference. I gotta, um, I gotta dive deeper into that. The, um, the one or two times I've done it, I really couldn't tell a difference. So that's why I only use either one or the other. And honestly, I like doing, using the button because the flag pops up on the, um, on the, um, the flag pops up. Why can't I think of the damn name? You know what I'm trying to say. It pops up in the damn, the, in my screen and shit. You know what I mean? So that's why I like using that button. Um, but other than that, man, we're going to end this video. I know you guys can't see me because it's dark it's right now. It's like 9 o'clock at night now. It's like a 21-minute video. Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to end this video, boy. So, boy, Fuchs, nigga, do me a favor. I don't care if you don't like the video. Um, I don't care if you not like the video, but I don't care if you hit the, um, the... Uh, the like button on here but just watch the video man i need the watch time i need to be able to get over four thousand um four thousand hours of uh watch time so do me a favor just watch the video um if you want hit that subscribe button i don't care nothing about hitting the like button um but please watch the video please subscribe to the boy channel um if you love cars if you have a chrysler you have a dodge you have a mopar period hit that subscribe button man and uh, run it up in the comments. Let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know what you guys, the question you guys have about your car if you never tested it um, or went too deep into it. You know what I mean? I drive my car. I, I put miles on my car. I, I drive the hell out of this car. You feel me? So um, other than that, man, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Whatever I got to do to get the content, working 70 hours a week, I'm going to get it. Um, that's the only way I'm going to grow is be able to put videos out. You know what I mean? I'm not going to grow with one video. I'm not going to grow with two videos. So I got to get them out regardless. So this was a quick video that somebody asked me in the comments for about the sport mode, so here you have it. Um, it's your boy, Fuchs, man. I'm out of here. Gone. Yeet.